there is no question that the newest Samsung flagship phones can take HDR photos and videos. When you go to see them in your picture album, they play in plain old SDR mode and don't look as well as they could. The iPhones, strangely, do not do this, instead, they provide the complete HDR experience in their Photos app. The good news is that Samsung is stepping up their game by introducing this feature to the Galaxy S24 series with One UI 6.1, which means you can view HDR content straight in your gallery app. The HDR feature of the Galaxy S24 is set to surpass that of iPhones. When you share HDR photos and videos from an iPhone to non-Apple devices like Windows PCs or Android phones, you're out of luck if you want to view the content in HDR format on those devices. However, with the S24, it doesn't matter which device you send those photos and videos to, it will showcase the content in HDR format as long as you have an HDR display. The Pixel 8 improves on this feature as well. With the next One UI 6.1, Samsung may potentially add this capacity to some of its current Samsung phones. The speaker grille on the Galaxy S24 Ultra will feature a long rectangular stripe, rather than the pill-shaped apertures on recent Galaxy flagships. This design was last seen on the S9, and it's a tiny modification that won't affect how the speakers sound. A long-running rumor circulated that Samsung was planning to outfit its phones with satellite communication capability. The S23 was speculated to have it, but that never happened. We also heard whispers that this feature may eventually make its debut with the S24 range, but there was no substantial proof to back it up. That changed today when the president of Samsung LSI confirmed officially that Galaxy phones will indeed support satellite services beginning next year, and if you're reading between the lines it's a not-so-subtle reference to the upcoming Galaxy S24 series, which is expected to hit the market in January 2024 like the iPhones, the satellite feature on the S24 is going to be a step ahead offering two-way communication, it's not just for SOS applications like the iPhones. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.